What's with the long face? Tired? Ate too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines. And the bones have already been taken care of. I'm just thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? Think, thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you! Hey, you! Come over here! Wh what is it? Hey! Stop pulling me! You idiot! Don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl! The angel? You mean the angel of avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the information bureau. <laughs> Man, her greediness is the stuff of legend. You're such a child. That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss's archenemy. Dusko is getting excited! <laughs> Love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Valvatores. That's impossible! My brain is as fresh as it can be. But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past. So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love. Desco is suspicious, especially since the tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes her reputation on it. Well, it's definitely weird, but so... Is that what love is? It's love. L-O-V-E. I see. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. Plus, Mr. Valvatore shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. Desco can't... Desco can't... Desco can't stand this as a final boss. It has struck her heart. Forbidden love between a demon and angel. <laughs> My dream is getting way more exciting. You're all delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. I'm going to rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't. Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. He means it, Big Sis. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Desco is scared. Hmph. <laughs> You're nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared! You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money... We should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? I already have something in mind. According to our research, which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid-level demon area, dude. If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude! But that being said, what do you think, my lord? Mid-level demons? That may actually require a bit more effort this time. The Corrupterment has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corrupterment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Wanted? I bet they're still calling me the fake a measle! Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? Ten thousand hell, my lord. Ten thousand? That's all? Those bastards! How could they? Oh, 
make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But as long as my lord is motivated, I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go! To bring Hades to the netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson! Okay, to become the netherworld president! To become a magnificent final boss! To become a great demon and make father proud! Their goals are completely different from one another. That doesn't matter. No matter our goals, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals and to usurp the regime, let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control! Episode 5, The Angel of Avarice. Vasco, it's getting excited! <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah. Uh, another chapter, gotta do the... Gotta do my rounds. Uh, a measles finally in the party. Kinda of for, kind of forgot that. Um, but new main character. Um, I'll probably read his entry today for my choice. Uh, oh yeah, I was I, I was debating whether to teach him axes or not. Now we're close to the Giga spills. There we go, Measle. Uh, yeah, definitely gotta learn Fire, Wind, and Ice. And I had enough for one Mega spell. A lot of mana. Much if you wanted to battle him, like I'm going to use a measle. He has no magic. <laughs> His equipment sucks. Um, while I don't use him a lot, he's actually a pretty damn good character. Good luck. You know, yeah, let's let's just jump right into it. I'll start reading. Okay. A measle is a caster, so don't expect his raw stats to stand up to his companions. He's not very good in direct combat, so you should keep him back keep him at the back lines where it's much safer. Use spells and his unique skills to deal damage to targets. Duh. Um concentration and magical boost are the best ability choices for raw damage output. You'd think a measle would be a great at assassinating single targets because of the perk from concentration. Sadly, that's not the case. A measle doesn't get the best damage for single target damage, so he only ends up being a middling killer even in the, er in the arena of spellcraft. Your custom magicians are likely to outdo or at least rival him. Um, that totally depends on how much time you put into him. Uh, I mean, with the same equipment at level 1, with the same magic, against a single target, he will do more damage than a Mitch, than a witch or a skull. It's just, it's just a fact. Um, true, you probably raise some more magic characters by the time you get a measle, but if you wanted to, a measle could easily be your best mage. Um, be simply because if you remember his prime ability is concentration which delivers 50% more damage when magic is used against a single target. Um, so yeah, you, um, so he will do the same amount of damage as witches to multiple targets and do 1.5 times as much to single targets. Not to mention he learns all three elements by himself and has a 25% resistance in all three. Uh, so he has his bases covered and something that you might not think about that get that is also a big advantage is that his movement his natural movement is five as opposed to the three of witches and I believe three for skulls as well let's check I like to be thorough skulls have 
free movement. Yep, like I thought. So, um... Yeah, Amusel, uh, this, as far as I'm in the game, in the post game now, despite the fact that I'm purposefully making my, uh, Magic Knight my primary magic dealer, Amusel, thanks to his ability and, um, having all the elemental spells naturally, can still do a surprising amount of decent damage and kill weaker enemies in a single shot pretty consistently so um, that's impressive considering you know I'm having trouble killing a lot of enemies with Fuka or Fenric even but Imizel who I haven't used as much he, his damage output is great even with mediocre equipment uh, his second uh, not to mention his second ability magic boost adds 15% to special magic attack damage so that's 15% against all dark targets and 50% against single targets, so that's 65. Central Motherworld, an area brimming with demons of approximately mid-boss power levels. However, this area has gone through quite a transformation since the days it was a training ground for aggressive demons, working their way up to becoming upper-class demons and boss characters. This is the mid-level demon area. Huh, is this an amusement park? It looks like fun. Jessica wants to play with Big Sis. Let's go on that ride! Idiots! Sure it looks like a ride, but it's actually a training machine! A training machine? How do you train with that? Well, I don't know either. Do you, Valsy? There used to be this machine where you had to catch a giant hammer, a hydrochloric acid swimming pool, and other serious facilities. I'm assuming that along with the corruptor, this training ground has become a joke of its former self. You, Lass, I couldn't help but notice your comment. Did you just call our lord? Oh, Fousey? Who cares? This is just a dream. I don't mind having a demon friend. Friend? Don't be a fool. Neither our lord nor I need any human friends. Oh yeah, right. I bet you just want a nickname too. Okay then, I'll call you Fen Fen. Fen Fen? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone walk all over you like that in quite a while. I find it quite amusing. It wouldn't hurt to get to learn about human beings by befriending them. My lord! <gasps> Jessica wants to be included too! Valsy! If not for Lord Val's warm words, your lives would be at stake right now. Look! Those are the wanted people! Whoa! I was so absorbed in all the nickname talk that I didn't even notice they found us! What a warm welcome. I'm starting to like being treated as a bounty. As expected of the mid-level area, these enemies look more malicious than ever. Tesco can't wait to kill them all! <sighs> Are these the rebels from Hades who tarnish the name of Sir Amisel? I knew it! But I won't let that get to me! I'll prove to them that they're looking at the real deal with my own power! You bastards! You've got a lot of nerve mosing into this bird! We're all dangerous demons here! You shameless thieves! Thieves? Are you talking about one of our invasions of the Corruptorman's territory? How dare you play innocent in front of us! You're conspiring to take all of our valuables with the help of the Angel of Avarice! What did you say? I am not allied with any angel. I'll proudly admit all of the evil doings that I've done, but I won't admit to anything that I don't remember doing, good or bad. The Corruptorman's propaganda. Their influence remains strong, even without the Information Bureau. Anyway, conspiring with that angel? <laughs> what a heap of rubbish. 
Is this another one of my father's orders? Is he the one who's been behind this all along? He used to despise schemers. His motto was, fight violence with violence, fair and square. Really? I've been trying to imagine what kind of a person he is by judging his dirty tactics. No, I know what kind of person he was. That's the main reason why I refuse to believe he was involved from the beginning. Huh? It wasn't just because you had blind faith in your daddy? <laughs> you frogs! Have you picked which one of you wants to die first? The Corruptorman promised that if we defeat you guys, we get the bounty money. And we also get to do whatever we want with your money! <laughs> this is a once-in-an-after-lifetime opportunity. I'm taking all the prizes. You're right. This is rare indeed. In fact, it's so rare it had never happened, but you're still falling for it. <laughs> Hopeless idiots. However, as long as these idiots remain, it's an effective tactic. What shall we do, my lord? The Corruptorment is trying to pin all the blame on us. We already knew that the Corruptorment has always used such cheap tactics. This is no surprise to me. However, I can't help but feel a little hopeless when even these mid-level demons are foolishly falling for their propaganda. Then please, be an example for them by fighting against the Corruptorment as the most exemplary demon of all. Splendid idea. I shall show them what a fighting Prinny instructor can do! Um, my lord, how about doing it as a tyrant? <laughs> Sorry about that, that kind of snuck up on me. Uh, yes, uh... So that's 65% more damage against single targets? That's crazy. I don't know what this guy is. This guide is retarded. I don't know why I'm bothered reading from it anymore. Ugh. And this is our first time encountering Nekomatas, the feel the the cat class. Uh, their special ability: they counter special attacks at close range. Um, that seems to be a fan favorite as far as oh look a hidden hero. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. The Nekomata seem to be a very popular monster class among the Skaya fans. A uh, big primary... I can think of a big reason for that was in the second game. I can't remember if they were in the first. I don't think they were. Well, in the second game, there was a map where... Uh, there were nothing but Nekomatas and there was enemy level up by 10% panels. So, what eventually we did was you captured a Nekomata at a pretty high level by throwing them into each other and letting it level up, then because of the capturing mechanics in that game, depend every time you captured a higher level Nekomata, that Nekomata let you capture an even stronger one about twice as much. So eventually, for just time of about an hour, you could get a quad nine monster by like as early as chapter three. Uh, pretty cheap. <laughs> um, made going through the item world and land and carnage a lot easier. So people just had like an army of werecats to abuse. Uh, but enough about that. Uh, Measles' final ability is Generate Pain. Attacks against a Measle restore his lost SP. Worthless. His defense is... Okay, his HP and defense is slightly... Right, that's funny. <laughs> uh, his full first soul reaping, and he still can't do it. Uh, Take this. Jesus Christ! My phone always chooses to go off during my recording session. Um, yeah, his defenses—they still suck. Um, the odds that you're so you'll survive an attack to benefit from it. Uh, just take advantage of the damage. Of course, you can make a Measle an even better ca uh, caster if you take advantage of the Magic Knight's Elemental Force ability, like I've mentioned before. 
Um, and you'll get an even better elemental damage boost since you have a natural 25% resistance in all elements. So it's better than the 15% boost and can only get better with the abilities. I mean, uh, with uh, innocence. There. There. Okay, his aptitudes are HP 100, SP 120, uh, attack 80, no sorry, attack 100, defense 80, Intelligence 130, Resistance 120, Hit 110, and Speed 100. So the natural high intelligence is good. Oh man, am I tired. Oh, jet lag lasts for days, man. Okay, um... And on top of generic... Uh, mage classes, he has some special skills to take advantage of. Kitty Brain Blast. Ready for me now? So acrobatic and graceful. Alright, so the first one you saw was Soul Reaper. Um, worst damage, 10. Uh, only hits one person, your. Normal spells will be so much stronger, taking advantage of elemental resistances and weaknesses. The only benefit is that it might cause forget, but I wouldn't bank on that. I have no idea what the percentage chance is. It's it's not something to it's it's not something to bank on. His next one, uh, Grim Spectre, uh, is only good for cheap area of effect. Uh, it, it's a it's a fixed area, and it's in the shape of a cross. So it's uh, five panels. Um, the guide says when it's time for a measle to hit a cluster of enemies, Grin Specter is far superior to Soul Reaper. Get this skill up in the ranks to have it deal substantial damage without spending too much mana. Well, I don't know about substantial damage. Um, it, it, it's decent uh, until you use enough mana to upgrade your elemental spells, at least. Uh, at, le at least it's handy for hitting enemies that um, have a wide range of resistances. Uh, but the neat one is his last skill called Delta of Death. Um, it can hit four tiles away, but it it's, it's like a it's like an alternating diamond if that makes any sense. It can hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine enemies, and, and picture like. It's, it's hard to describe, but, like... It's just like a diamond with four holes missing. Uh... Um... Yeah, that, that's as good as I can explain it. A bunch of diagonals. Uh... The... Anyway, the... The amount of enemies it can hit, and the fact that it's movable, as opposed to... Um, the other character skills is very useful. It's also Star Element, uh, which is nice. And uh, Powers D, like a lot of the other um, really big area of effect attacks that the characters have. But um, for the SP cost, hitting that many enemies is pretty nice. Uh, Delta of Death has the most damage potential of the measles innate skills, though its high cost prevents you from getting high in rank quickly. Use this to soften groups from considerable range or to hit especially distant targets with the edge of area of effect. And that pretty much sums up a measle. Uh, so yeah, well, um, I would say out of every Disguise game, by far the most useful mage character, uh, main mage character ever. No contest. The innate ability is a god. Um, in fact, Marjorie, who was a bonus character in the older games, used to have that ability. Um, but now you have a main character to use it. Although she was a monster, she couldn't use staves. Um, but the guide's um, evaluation of him is totally off. A measle will be as good as you put effort into. Um, his innate skills, movement, and... Um, Okay, I mean, eventually in the very... Ah, uh, damn it. 
every damn time. Oh, do cats like baseball? I like how if you don't, if there's an empty target in the attack, it's just taken up by a printy. Not bad at all. Um, uh, measle, yeah. Um, he could very easily be your best mage. Um, I used him less simply because I had a shitload of mages already. So his, um, value was less. But give him good staff. Um, he'll, he'll do the best single damage, target damage by far for a while. Let me let's check this out. Are they weak to fire? Well, he has a shit staff at the moment. Ugh. Can't wait till this jet lag is over. Oh, she was on a defense plus panel, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, give him his little shot. Also, speaking of death, this is something I've been meaning to bring up, and it's only an assumption on my part, but based on my knowledge of Japanese, uh, I think what the name for Desco is, is kind of a pun, if you understand. Uh, the way they pronounce death in Japanese is desu, desu, and ko in Japanese is a common ending for a girl's name. Uh, the kanji means child or little, so you know it's like it's it, it's a very common uh, suffix. Not a, I don't want to say suffix, but yeah, it, it's an ending to a girl's name. Uh, so, I think what they were going for is, her name was Desuko, so, uh, Little Death, or Kid Death, or, you know, maybe if, like, you were thinking in English, be like, uh, Deathy, <laughs> or Deathica, you know, something stupid like that. Um, but they didn't feel like translating it literally, so, they just... You know, they just went purely on sound alone and named her Desco. You know, I'm like, that's a weird name. And then the more I thought about, it, like, oh, that that could make sense. I mean, it's too much of a coincidence if you ask me for that not to be the case. Uh, I haven't seen her name in Japanese. If if I saw it spelled out, I could confirm or deny. I mean, if it, if it's all in katakana, um, then it's hearsay. However, uh, I, I, could, I would recognize the kanji if I saw it, if I saw her name. So I might actually look into that and then let you guys know in the next one. But, you, you know, it, it's too much of a coincidence for me to it. It's totally a guess. Again, is prove, me, prove me wrong, Internet. It's what you're good at. Now I can make my own felines. How pathetic. Even if their corruption was born of greed, I can't believe that's all they've got. And they were only fighting against a pretty instructor, not a tyrant. The state of the corruptor men is worse than I thought. We must take control of the entire netherworld soon, or demons will go extinct. As you stated, the degree to which these demons have weakened is a severe matter that we can't overlook. There must be a problem with the fear energy that's supporting the netherworld. We have no time to waste! Fear energy? Okay, whatever. So, Valzi, tell us something about that angel. I thought I warned you that I'd rip your tongue out if you didn't stop with that nonsense. Is that what you want? It's not nonsense! Half the reason we were dragged into this mess is that angel's fault. We have a right to know. You're obligated to explain it to us. Ooh, as expected of Big Sis, forcing her selfishness through any argument, no matter what. Desco is impressed. 
Are you certain of that? If you keep this up, I will inflict an unbelievable amount of pain on you, whether this is a dream or not. Uh, that's not a joke either, right? <laughs> Big Sis, you can do it! Desko will protect you from behind! From behind? That's enough, Fenric. You're starting to lose it. Besides, there's also nothing I can say about that angel. I've never been acquainted with an angel. But you knew her name! She said her name is Volcanus. I don't know anyone by that name. She looks similar to someone I've met before. I simply mistook her for someone else. Someone you've met before? That's not the kind of feeling I was getting from you. So what happened to that person? <clears throat> she was killed. In a foolish war between the humans. A war? Does that have anything to do with the reason why you got so offended when I declared war on you before? Why don't you stop with all your speculations? Our lord would never be affected by a human. How can you be so sure? Maybe that person became an angel after she died. Yeah, I've heard that super pure human souls can sometimes become angels. If by any chance she did become an angel, she would never engage in thefts. Never. She possessed the purest heart. Even I had a hard time 